Hey guys, Deal Games here, back in the LP world, and the first thing I want to do today is go ahead and head over to the nether, go to the fortress, and get some nether wart for brewing, because we're going to need a lot of potions when we fight the dragon. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to get, as long as we like avoid blazes and that kind of stuff. Um, wither skellies aren't really a problem, and if I see any, I will be killing them, because we've got our looting three sword, and I want to get uh, skelly skulls as quick as possible. So, I'll be looking for them, taking them out, uh, and uh, if you're wondering why I've got this cobble with me, it's so I can make a sort of trail to lead me back to the portal um, after we get over there, or after we're finished getting the, uh, the wart. I'm going all Hansel and Gretel on this one because I don't want to get lost like last time. That was rather unfortunate. I'm not going to worry about collecting any quartz because if we uh, get all the levels and then end up, end up dying, then it will have all been for nothing. So, I'm just going to avoid it for now. We can always come get it at some other point. Lag, while everything renders up. I hear a ghast. I'm not going to be stingy with the cobble. I'm just going to be throwing it down. And I think um, probably the easiest way to uh, to get up to the top is going to be to make a staircase through here. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and do this. And it'll be relatively safe because we can be pushed up against a wall at all times. Should be a pretty good method of doing it. Alright, I'm just going to be careful so I don't end up falling off. Shouldn't take us too long to get in. Oh, careful. Very careful. Okay, and I gotta turn down my headset, because that music is a little obnoxious. I know a lot of people like to have it up loud, but it really distracts me when I'm commentating. Now, for those of you who are LPers in the audience, you may experience the same thing. Like, I can't do too many things at once. I hear a blaze. Okay, we should be getting close now. Ah, here we are. There we go. Oh, hello. Hello, good sir. Alright. And if I have to kill any of them, I'm going to try to use my sword on them just so we can uh, get some extra rods for use in brewing stands and uh, we need it for powder. I'd say the biggest problem for us at this point for the stronghold is actually filling up the frame. And I'm going to need a, quite a few more pearls to do that, so... It might take us a couple more episodes before we can actually head into the end and kill the dragon. But I want to sort of make that one of my top priorities. I see a skelly over there. He's guarded by a blaze, though. A couple skellies. Die. Gas shooting at me. Where are you at? Come at me, bro. Apparently he doesn't want to. Oh, there he is. Uh-oh. That was narrowly avoided. Die. Oh, ow. I'm wearing some fire protection armor, so we should be fairly good as far as blazes go. That doesn't mean I can go traipsing around um, attacking a bunch of blazes, but we, uh, we're better off than we otherwise would be. Do they take lava damage? I don't know. I would guess not. Yeah, he doesn't appear to be taking any damage. Come on. Wow, you're slow. Oh, where did that come from? There we go, come on. Come on, friend. There you go. Over here. Here, I'll block it off for you. If you move over a little bit, I'll get it. 
There you go. Good boy. Well, we're getting some coal. That's always nice. <laughs> okay, I gotta be careful not to hit the pig man. Because in the new update, they're very, very powerful. And you gotta be careful of them. Oh, skull. Awesome. Okay. That's nice. Let's see. Give us another skull, huh? Nope. He didn't want to. He wanted to give us a sword, which is, I guess, nice of him. Come on. Don't stand over there. I don't want to have your drops get knocked off. It would be a shame to watch a skull burn. I think that's happened to me a couple times. I'm just going to avoid that for now. Let's go kill all those guys over there. I've also got some um, projectile protection on my armor, which is good because um, the regular skellies will now spawn in the nether as well. I think that that's an old change though, that's like 147 when that changed. Shoot, where'd he go? Uh-oh. Ow, oh, why did I do that? That was dumb. Another skelly over there. I really want to kill all the skellies I possibly can. So I'm just going to snipe these guys. Watch out, pigman. I honestly do not want to hit you. Oh. Another sword. Hooray. That's what I've always wanted. Grab that. How many? Uh, four. Okay. A few extra blaze rods. Nice. That's good. I see. There's another skelly there. I'm getting distracted from my main mission of finding the wart. But that's uh, that's okay. I can afford to get a little distracted. I do not want to get withered because there's nothing that can protect you from the wither as far as armor goes. Oh, shoot. He almost knocked me off the edge there. That would have been terrible. Because I've got um, my good pick with me. Avoid the gas. Okay. Whew. I'm going to get a little regen here. Alright. Let's see. Um, this is a really big fortress, so... There's a good chance of me finding another wart somewhere. Skelly, hello. Yep, I've got a bow too. You're dead. I love power bows. Oh, here we go. Just what we need. Alright, now you don't want this singular stair, so I'll be putting this back. Okay. There we go. Alright, now let's look for any more skellies that we can see close. God dang it, Gast. Stop. Just stop. Skelly over there. Let's head over there. We got this nice little natural bridge over to land. I wish I would have had my portal spawn, like, right over here. That would have been fantastic. But sadly, no. That's not the luck I have. Though I guess I could have spawned, like incredibly far away from a fortress, that would have been even worse. Hey buddy, how's it going? Okay. Getting a little bit of frame lag here. Get some more work there. I'm not going to take that. I'll leave that so that if I die and uh, end up losing the nether wart, then we have some more. Because I don't want to have to travel to a different fortress. That would really suck. Let's see, we have a total of 13 blaze rods now, which should be plenty. I'm only going to have a couple brewing stands, maybe four or so. I don't know. I would like to collect another skull, though. That would be excellent. And how do I get out of here? I think I need to take a right and then like take another right. Not off into nowhere. Jumping off a cliff is usually not a good idea to get back to, uh, to your home. Come on. 
I don't get why they like to cling to the edge so much. It's strange. Maybe that's just part of the AI. Bye-bye. I do not want those in the slightest. Maybe if they had, like, I don't know, sharpness 20 or something. Pigmen. Did I just see one over there? Oh, hello. Dang it. Darn. Why don't you drop it where I can catch it? What a terrible blaze. He's a horrible person. Eat, keep the regen flowing. Okay, let's see. Um, if there are no more skellies, I'd like to get out of here. Oh, there's a bunch. Multiple varieties of skellies. As well as a magma cube. Shouldn't have killed him with the uh, with the with the bow. Stop. Dang it! No magma cream. I need magma cream for fire resistance potions. They're always nice to have when you have to come into the Nether for whatever reason. Whoa. Ow. You're a sniper. You're almost as good as I am. Jeez. Let's take out that other skelly back there. Wither skellies are surprisingly easy to kill after you've gotten used to them sprinting at you. Like, they're not really uh, that hard of a mob. For their, like, um, like, for what they are supposed to do, which is give you the ability to spawn the wither. I think they should be a little more difficult so you can gauge if you would actually be able to kill the wither or not. I don't know, just my view on it. Ow. Okay. Uh, uh. No rod, dang it. Oh, this is just nothing. That's probably somewhere where I encase myself. We're getting out of here. At least I hope we are. No rod from him either. Darn you, Blaze. You're so stingy sometimes. I thought I saw another wither, wither skelly like right over here or something. Maybe my eyes are just playing tricks at this point. Is there one over there? Don't think so. We need one more wither skull, but I suppose I can always do this at another time. Let's go ahead and figure out which tower leads down, and then get out of here. I'll kill any other skellies that I see on the way out. It's this way. I believe. Pigman. Gotta be real careful not to hit the pigman here, because they will screw me up on my way home if I do. Gas. Dang, he's probably like just a little farther than I can shoot out. Come on. Oh, I hit him. Oh, come on. He keeps changing directions. How am I not hitting him? I think I'm missing his hitbox. Let me do um, F3H. Come on. Hitbox work. Did they change that? Can you no longer do it? Hmm. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. F3B. There we go. Can't quite see his hitbox from here. There we go. All right. Let's turn this off. I'm not a big fan of that. It makes every all the textures look strange. 
Is this the correct direction? Oh, wow. Sniper. Is our way out? Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to add some little safety rails at places like this. Where it's a sharp turn. Just so I can't go running off there. There we go. That'll make things easier on us in the turns. Do eat a potato. Oh, okay. Um, that's okay, game. You can eat another potato if you really want. I don't know why it does that for sometimes, or for sometimes. Why it does that sometimes? It seems like that glitch has been in the game forever. Or sometimes you'll eat one thing and it'll just take another one for no apparent reason. I'm glad we left our little trail of cobble. That should make us ni make it nice and easy for us. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I hope this doesn't kill me, because lava fire lasts forever. It's horrible. Even with fire resistance. There we go. Probably one of the most annoying things about like fire um or fire damage and poison is uh it's not really that they are doing damage to you. It's that they prevent you from sprinting and they like knock you around. It's like you're actually being hit by something rather than just like taking damage. It's weird. I don't like that. I think they should they should change that for certain um types of damage. Probably just fire and poison or maybe like um I don't know, what else does that to you? Nothing that I can think of. Oh, I need to go up here. Am I correct? Is that a, what is that up there? Is that just... That's just quartz. I'm silly. Where is the cobble? Is it... Oh, there we are. Let's go ahead and make some stairs that will allow us to get up there easily. Hopefully I have enough. I don't think I will, actually. I'll have to use some nether brick, but that's fine. I don't really have any particular use for nether brick at this point. I hope I made this far enough back. If I didn't, I'll have to do a little tunneling. I'll be a tunnel bore. I think I did it just about perfectly, actually. Um, this is treacherous. There we go. Um, now... Am I going to pull this one off? I'm actually going to have to make this section rise. Very careful, Reed. Very careful. Poor pig man. They are a misunderstood people. Okay. This is quite dangerous. But there we go. That'll make it a lot easier in the future. Uh, as I progress, I will continue to make um, aesthetic changes to all the all the builds and everything. And I'll try to spruce up the area in the nether. And I think um, I might do like a, uh, a nether hub type thing. That'll allow me to go to all my different locations, like the stronghold. Anywhere else I need to go, pretty much. Okay, I think we have a total of 16 blaze rods now, which is really good. That'll allow us to make several brewing stands if we need to. Get our skull. Okay. Or, or. Let's see, I think we should get another wart started, or another wart farm started fairly quickly. Do, do cobble. My bow goes in there. Okay. Now, let's see. Where would I want to put one? Soul sand. It can't be too big. Um. Hmm. Does this connect with anything? I don't think it does. So I could have. It would be fairly small, but I could put it right in here. It might look kind of nice. We also have this area back here. Then there's the village. I want to keep the village sort of pure in like, um, or 
it would uh, have natural things like the farm looks natural. I want to use wood type blocks back here. So I don't really want to have the nether wart farm be back here. Let's see how it looks if I just carve a little section. Oh, I can't do that. Got to grab some stone and fix that. I think I had some stone smelted. Ah, there we go. I can't remember what I was going to use this for. But I threw it in there after last episode, and uh, we have it now. Hooray! Okay, um, now, where can I put it? Can't put it over there. Right here might be a nice spot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. But I don't want to have it be too close to the lava. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. 16 spaces, is that enough? Maybe I'll increase it to 24. Because we don't have much more soul sand anyway, so. There we go. Excellent, and luckily this stuff doesn't really take up too much room, so I think it'll, it'll fit in there fairly well. We have our access to our burning pits. We should be good to go. Let's see, what else do we need to work on in this episode? Um, maybe we can go ahead and find the stronghold. You are a building block, you belong in here. Plant some food, you go up here. Let's see, let's go ahead and get a few of these turned into powder. Okay, and I think it's about to become night, so we'll sleep the night away. And we can get going on that. Eyes of Ender. You get in there, let's see. Uh, I should probably bring some more potatoes with me, just in case it's a long trip. Perfect. I wanted to give myself ten more, and the auto-clicker came through for me. Um, 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 um. Let's bring a... Let's bring the power tube bow. I want to try to get an infinity bow going here fairly quickly. Gear chest, you were right here. Okay, I went ahead and made myself a helmet and boots, though I haven't enchanted those yet. And if I remember, I'll enchant those on camera so you can see just exactly what I get. I don't think I really need to bring any wolves with me. Go to sleep on the floor, fall out of the bed. Okay, so anything else that I think I'll be needing? Um, hmm. I don't really think so. I think we should be okay. Hello, zombie. I don't want to lose any of these guys, so I'm going to try to track them if I can. Let's see, we're headed this direction. So what we're going to do... Uh, you know what, now that I think about it... Oh, god dang it. I should have killed you. I definitely should have taken him out. Okay, let's grab uh, some building blocks. Some dirt or sand or something that we can use. I don't think I have much. Um, I'll just take some cobble. That'll be fine. Just so, like, if, if this lands in a tree, I can quickly retrieve it. Without having to, like, cut the tree down or something. Okay, so we're headed in this general direction. Let's walk this way for about 50 blocks or so and throw it again. And I think the rules for, um, what are they called, strongholds, is that they have to be within 2,000 blocks of the spawn. It might be 200, actually. I'm not sure. I can't really remember. Oh, gosh. You see, this is what the blocks are for. Do, do, do. It's not inside the tree, is it? Where'd it go? Have I already lost one? Hello, Skelly. I cannot tell where it went. That doesn't help at all. I hate how when you switch tools now, it resets the uh, the breaking. That's rather annoying. 
Where did it go? Dang it, I don't want to set off and lose one immediately. Where did it go? Eh. Are you around here? You up on top of here? Let's get on top of another tree. Ouch, gosh. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, thank God. Alright, I'm going to walk for quite a while longer before I throw another one. Or I, I'm going to at least get into like the forest biome over here, because throwing it in the taiga just seems like a terrible idea. I want to have as many of these guys as possible. Like, if I if I lose one just because it, it uh, disappears by random chance, like, I know sometimes um, you can throw one and it'll just disappear. If that happens, I'm not going to care, but... Don't want to lose it from something stupid. So we're headed this direction. Oh, there goes one. Sometimes they drop, other times they, like, explode. If it's, like, right over here, that would be wonderful. Lava over there. Thank you. Okay, oh, I should have brought a boat. Um, luckily, I got the wood from that tree, so we're fine. I can always make one. I don't think this is going to turn into an ocean anyway, so we should be good. Looks like we're headed towards the jungle. Maybe extreme hills. Please don't explode. Thank you. It's weird how they sort of just pop out of the air like that. They don't just fall. They pop. Gotta traverse this and continue heading that way. Hopefully this doesn't take me too long. Because I don't want to um, be just doing like a Farlands or Bus style thing where I'm just walking for like half an hour. Not to insult Farlands or Bus or anything. That's a really good series that Kurt has going, but um, I feel like I would be really bad at it, so I want to try to avoid that as best as possible. And I am not going to be throwing my pearl in the jungle because that would just suck. It would inevitably get caught in the tree. Inevitably? Is that the correct word there? Yeah, I think that means, like, it will definitely get caught in a tree. Okay. Let's jump into this pool over here. Go for a swim. Alright. Maybe I'll even get lucky and find, like, a jungle temple in here. That would be good. I don't think I've ever found one, um, like, in a survival world. I've only found them, like, when I generate a new map to test something. I, I found a couple of them that way. And I'm always really disappointed because I'm like, wow, I really wish I had something like this on the single player or on the gap because I've never been that lucky. It really stinks. My luck is just absolutely horrible. Uh, especially when it comes to Minecraft. <laughs> Ouch. And recently I've been having absolutely garbage luck with Diminods. This is a big jungle. Jeez. Zine, if you're watching this, I don't know why you like these, because you got to jump all over the place. It's really annoying. Okay, uh... Are we coming to the end of the jungle? I can't really tell. I hope we are. I want to get out of here. Let me out of here. Ouch. Just because I'm wearing armor does not mean I can survive any fall. I don't have any cocoa beans yet, though I don't think I really need them, because um, they're n the cookies aren't really a good food source at this point, because I have my potatoes, and um, they work as brown dye, but I don't have any use for brown dye, so. Now, if I were going to use brown dye, I would just use a uh, dark wood plank. Okay. Is this a plain or an extreme hill? I can't tell. I thought it would be like Plains Edge or something. We got pumpkins there. Or a pumpkin. Excellent. 
This makes things so much better. I do not want that. I think I already have pumpkin seeds, and I, I don't have any use for them. I guess I'll keep it just in case I don't have pumpkin seeds, because I can use it for lighting. Uh, torches give off a light level of 14, but pumpkins and glowstone give off 15, so they're very good for lighting, and they have no particle lag, which is nice. They just have luminance. What biome is this? Plains? This is really flat. This is like... This is very, very flat. I've never seen anything like this before. I think we're about to hit an ocean. Right after that swamp. There's an ocean right there. Go ahead and throw one of these guys. Oh, he wants me to go that way. Thank you, good sir. It would be nice if we can find uh, an above-ground entrance to the stronghold. Do, 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 do. Forest, I'd prefer not to throw one in here, so let's see if we can get to a clearing. I can better throw one ravine there. Oh, that means death. I want to avoid that. Is it a wolf? What did I just see? I guess I just saw a birch. <laughs> it's not like I need wolves. I'm not... Uh, not searching for wolves or anything. Oh, darn it. Lost another one. Oh, well. Tree, who has decided that he wants to fly. Another one. Couple flying trees. They don't like the ground. Okay. I want to find another clear... Wow, that's a big pack of wolves. Five of them. Wait, what was that? There's four here and here. There's two there. Okay, there's so there's like six. Coolio, I guess. I don't need you guys. All right, I certainly have enough bones to uh, to get them all. I just don't uh, don't have them with me. Oh, looks like we walked the wrong direction a little bit. Oh, darn it! And by we walked the wrong direction, I mean. We are very close. This guy, he just wants to fly. Oh, I caught it. When he goes straight into the ground... Oh, popped another one. Dang it. Hope we find it quick. Don't pop. Thank you. When it just flies into the ground. Where'd it go? Okay, you must have gone straight down. Alright, so it's right here. Oh, hang on. Let's throw it one more time. Where the heck did it go? I don't see it anywhere. It must be directly below us. Okay. Why did it, like, come back last time? I don't understand that. Oh, well. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, there he is. Hang on a second. One more time. What, we'll, what we can do, just to be sure. Right there. Okay, so we have one to spare. It's not like we're going to need it. And I want to be careful so I don't fall right into the lava. You know what I should be doing? I should be making more of a staircase because I definitely do not want to risk my stuff by falling uh, into the lava at the bottom. And let me go ahead and write down the coordinates for this on my notepad so that we can get to it easily and um, make another portal to it. Let's see. We have negative 1084 and negative 243. All right. Um, stronghold. Stronghold is negative ten eighty four, negative two forty three. Okay, we got that done. Sorry about that. I accidentally just hit the, uh, the stop recording key. All right, we'll just do a nice spiral staircase here. Do. All right, we'll get some lighting. 
Okay, I'm glad that uh, we're progressing at the rate we are in this series. I feel like we were making a lot of progress, and it's been really, really fun for me up to this point. So I'm hoping you guys are still enjoying it. Now, the support I've had on uh, the last several episodes has been very good. People seem to be enjoying it, so that's nice. I hear silverfish, so that means we must be right near the room. I'll take this. Why not? We can, or actually, I do need that because uh, we need to fill in the frame. What do we have down here? I would assume nothing pleasant. I hate getting lost in these things. Let's see. Can I make that jump? I'm not going to risk it. Not risking it for the biscuit today. Eh, no. Or actually, I want the chest, so yes. And I wonder if I'm at diamond level. I'm at 32. wonder if there are any diamonds down lower. I should probably try to head back, because I think I heard the, the silverfish right as I came in. And that's indicative of uh, the portal room. This is sort of strangely formed. Got a library there. Um, I'll probably come back and get some of those at some point, um, because... Oh, is this... Would that take me down to level 12? Ooh, I kind of want to go exploring. You know what, let's find the, um, the portal room and write down the exact coordinates, and then we'll, we'll do a little caving to finish off the episode. I think we've, we've done a lot, so... It's been a good episode. Hit the buton. Where are the stupid silverfish? I hear them. Haven't seen them yet. Oh, I just popped the door right off. Gotta be sort of careful. Here we go. Let's see. And do I want to leave that? I think I will, actually. Alright. Oh, wow. Dang it. We need 11 um, eyes of Ender. Ugh. Okay, well, let's get the coordinates down for this. Hello, guys. Um, negative 1084, negative 237. Um, portal room. We're directly below, or almost directly below where we were before. 1084, 19, 237. 84, 19, negative 237. Okay. And I cannot afford to really hit the silverfish at this point. Because uh, I think they would actually kill me. Okay. And we'll kill them at some other time. Alright. So let's go back to that one uh, area that we saw. Gotta be wary of silverfish around here. Because if I start hitting them, then it will come back to haunt me. Alright, now I'm running out of torches. I've got a little bit of coal and some wood, so that's good. Oh, hello. What? Eh. Dang it. Stop. Just stop. It's not cool. We got an abandoned mine over here. That's interesting. A zombie with a sword. Oh. Ouchie. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like there's really much over there. I'm not interested in the abandoned mine at this point just because I don't seem to have luck with finding ores in them. Like I'd prefer to find uh, that cave area that we saw before. But that could be hard because the stronghold is like a labyrinth. It can be really hard to find your way around. 
Here we go. Any Diminods like to show themselves. Really? No Diminods? Come on. I always like to dig around these lava lakes because it seems to me, and this is probably just uh, like a coincidence, but I find a lot of diamonds right near lava lakes. I don't know if that's actually in the code or if it's just pure coincidence, but that's what it seems like to me, so that's what I tend to do. Oh, oh, gosh, I gotta be careful about breaking this gravel, because if it's uh, not supported underneath, it could come down when it gets updated. I'd like to leave here with at least a few diamonds. Lapis, I'll take it. Inventory is quickly becoming full of crap. Let's go ahead and throw away some stuff real quick. No diminods. Alright, I'm just going to get rid of this. Uh, these other random types of stone brick. Bye bye, crap. Don't think so, no. Alright. Let's go get that lapis, because I care so much about it. Come here, lapis. Come to Papa. I'll still take the iron just for its uses for uh, repairing armor and such. The, the, build, the blocks make a nice resource. One thing I was considering doing in uh, in this LP was making an iron golem farm. And I had one in Deals Gap Map 1, and it was incredibly efficient. Like, you could get multiple stacks of iron in a few minutes. It was so fast. Been there. I don't know why I still collect gold. I guess just for uh, for the beacon. This is rather uneventful. Okay. Um, let's find a different place to explore. Maybe we'll go get a bunch of the books from the library. So I can have a second enchanting room um, at the, the, the spawner. That would be really good because then I wouldn't have to, um, uh, to head back and pick up the armor every time I wanted to enchant. Please stop, Skelly. There's a three-hit or a th yeah three-hit kill on him. Don't know why. I guess I'll head into the abandoned mine. Why not? At this point, I am desperate to get just a few diamonds out of this, and this was not my original intention. But uh, I want to now. I want to get some diminods. I'm gonna get so horribly lost. I want out now. <laughs> uh, oh, hello? Oh, dang it. Um, I'm going to put some excess crap in here. Bye-bye. Here's a skelly. Don't know where he is. Oh, dang it. Let's see if I tunnel out. This Is this the direction that I came from? I've got no idea at this point. Here we go. I don't know where to go. Ah, perfect. Looks like my sense of direction isn't that bad after all. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and, some, and make some torches real quick. Two... two. Okay, there we go. Just to tide me over, and of course I can get some extra coal at any point, pretty much. Let's just do a little bit more looking, and then um, I'll probably go ahead and get out of here off camera. Or I'll I'll show myself escaping this cave area, but then um, I'll go ahead and walk home off camera, because that's probably really boring for you guys. Ouch. Thank goodness for fire protection. Where the heck am I?
Let me up. I want to find that library and get some books. I'll probably smelt up um, some iron and go ahead and uh, just make an iron axe. This is just leading to nowhere. It's kind of stupid. Doesn't go anywhere from there. Disappointment. Oh, we got an Enderman. Um, I gotta. I'm gonna kill him. I sort of have to. Shoot! That was stupid. Not a safe spot. Where is he? I really hate fighting them in caves, because it's like, when you hit them, they teleport away and they don't come back. Isn't that supposed to be the point of Endermen? Like, I want them to attack me when I attack them. It's sort of stupid. Um, that annoys me, because I wanted his, uh, his Ender Pearl. There's the library. I hear him. Oh, diamonds. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Let's go retrieve those. Maybe we'll even make a diamond axe, because I don't think I have one yet. We're going to be daring here. Hello, zombie with a door. How are you? I don't see any more off in that direction. Hello, spider. You're dead. Go ahead and trash some of our stuff. Okay. Do, 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 do. Don't want that. Don't really want this pumpkin. Um. Okay, I think that's about it. Hello, creeper. You were getting ready to blow me up, weren't you? I know that look. That look that you, you give me every time I see you. Where were those demonods I saw? Crap, now I feel like I need an aerial view again. I know I saw them. I'm almost positive. Where's our light? Our light is up there, so that means I must have been looking that way. <sighs> Water is so annoying. Is it over here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I didn't think I was hallucinating. Oh. I'm glad I wasn't. Oh, man, you're all over the place. Whew. Alright, that's how you take out a creeper. You do it while backing up the entire time. That is how you do it. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure our demonods are safe before we get them. I want them to feel comfortable. I don't want them to be scared. Alright, I always like to be very sure before I mine diamonds, because I, I don't want to risk losing them, ever. Even if I had five trillion. There we go, twelve diminods. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go get those uh, those books from the library. And then uh, I'll be getting out of here for next episode. I'm going to hit my head, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and ditch some of our crap again. Do. What don't I need? Bows. Power 2. I like to. Get, or that's actually. That's the bow that I brought with me. And I. Just uh, stuttered so much. It was weird. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and make myself a diamond axe so we can chop through these real quick. Oh, thank you. Okay. Get one of these guys going. Benchmark. <laughs> thank you. I didn't. I I thought I had uh, done that before, but I guess I was wrong. The game is always right, you know. I haven't even switched jars recently, so that's really weird. Oh, and I just hit the Windows key.
Okay, we're getting to the point where diamonds are becoming uh, less of a necessity because I already have so many and I have almost all the tools I need. Though it's still good to have them for repairs and such. Uh, man, I, I hate inventory management. Ouch. Where? Oh. Hello. Die. Okay, I wonder if there's more stuff over there. Uh, there are chests, so I would like to collect some more stuff from around the stronghold. I need 45 books to make a room. So maybe I'll go ahead and get 90 just to be safe so I can make a couple of them. Okay. Alright, with this axe they're coming fast, so... Shouldn't take long. 44. Oh, 64 and 44. I already have enough. Okay. Let's get out of here. There's a creeper over there. Let's just um, traverse the ravine real quick. That. Oh, wow. Bat. Interception. No, not a... Oh, gosh dang it. I just made him a bridge. Okay, any more exciting things over here? If there's a way out, an easy way out, that would be fantastic. This is a really big stronghold. You got more caves. Yeah, this place is really huge. What's in here? Is this another library? I don't know what's up here. What the heck? This seems like it would be a trap to me. Why is this here? Oh, hello. There was nothing of value in that chest, was there? I wasn't even really paying attention. No, not at all. Take that. Worst comes to worst, I can always just build my way out of here. It's not that tough. Okay. And there are some rooms in Strongholds which are really tall, and they have part of a staircase built into them. And you can actually use those as an easy method of getting out. Nothing over here. I'm going by sound now. I'm using echolocation. Oh, that's silverfish. Alright, maybe we can even build up a level 30 while we're in here. That would be nice. Something for my trouble. Inventory must be full again, because it did not let me pick up that door. Not that I'm sad or anything. I don't really want it anyway. Okay, man, this place is so confusing. I have no idea where I'm going. Just down deeper and deeper. Oh, wow. That's random. Bane to... Uh, gross. Um, we can ditch some stuff in here, though. Spider eyes. I'll keep them just for brewing. Mossy cobble. I'll take that, I guess. Take that. I don't really like um, spider spawners, so... I'm not gonna, really going to mess with that too much. Or at all, because I, I doubt I'll remember where it is. Even though it nicely links up with Stronghold. Fountain here. Oh, hello, Creeper. You ruined the fountain. Wow. He's just a Vandal. Silly Vandal Creeper. Vandalism is for something else. <laughs> Actually, I guess that's his job in this game, pretty much. And how do I get out of here? <laughs> I want to leave. Game, if you present me with some more diamonds, then I will be happy with staying here, but right now you're not doing that. So let me out. Oh, this place is huge. I'm going to be in here forever at this rate. Um, 
Where am I? Yeah, I've traveled like a hundred blocks. Let's just go ahead and find one of those tall rooms if possible. That's somewhat tall. I just want to go back up a little bit so I don't dig as far. Make my job easier. Here we go. Ow. Ouch. Ow. Look at that. What a pro. Oh, hello. Okay, uh... Let's see, what's that? Oh, those are mushrooms that are glowing over there. Let's just look down, see if we can see any diamonds. It would be wonderful if we could. Though I'm not seeing any. Yep, no more diamonds for me, apparently. Okay. Well, let's just get back over to the other side, and I we might be able to find like the staircase we used to get in, if we're lucky. We wait. We used the staircase in the ravine, didn't we? So I have no idea where that is. Hello, Jumble. Actually, I might have an idea as to where it is. It was right by water. Must be like right over there. Let's go ahead and head over that way. Ow, ow, ow. Thank you, water. Okay, is this the correct water stream? I would think it would be. But I have, then again, I have no idea where I actually am, so... Um, screw it, I'm pillaring. Let's just hope I don't get shot. That would be rather unfortunate, wouldn't it? Oh, okay. Now that I've predicted it, watch me get shot up here. Gosh, that would really suck. I'm at level 53. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Oh, Gravel, you're a terrible, terrible person thing. I have no way of placing torches, so I'm not going to... There we go. And it would be nighttime, wouldn't it? Okay. Got an inventory full of crap. Lava. Um, our house is at 100-200, so I... Wait, is that correct? 100-200? Yeah, that's right. Spider, don't even mess with, your minor, with me right now. I'm not in the mood. I will get to walking back there, uh, and I guess this is how we're going to end the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. We made a lot of progress, and maybe for next episode I'll go ahead and look for some more Endermen and go ahead and kill them. Until next time, see you guys later. Deal Games, signing out.